Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing. In the previous tutorials, I taught you as to how we can go ahead and gain access to the remote computers and get uh, the system that means uh, the NT authority one that we want. Uh, so uh, now that we have access to the system, I have shown you what all things we can do that is gaining access, maintaining access. Now it's time to go ahead and gather information about what the user is doing exactly. So what I could do, I can also go ahead and disable the keyboard or enable the keyboard, enable the mouse in the system computer and a lot of other things. So let's first start with going ahead and gathering the keystrokes of our person as to what he is doing exactly. So let me check if I'm able to go ahead and uh, okay. Check if the, my okay my net is still working perfect so I'll just go ahead and start the keylogger so once you have the system access you can just go ahead and type K E Y S C A N keyscan underscore start and hit enter so the uh, keystroke has already been started so whatever I do each and everything will be stored over there so I need to go ahead and snip that so I need to go ahead and type key scan underscore dump so that means whatever it is doing the person is doing I will start getting that over here so I'll just go ahead and go to google.com let's see if I'm getting that as you can see whatever I pressed over here I'm getting all of these things I pressed GOO and then down and return or if I go ahead and close this open and if I go ahead and type google.com and hit enter and if I go over here and if I go and try to dump I should get that I typed google down and then return that means the enter button now let's say I want to go ahead and gain access to my gmail account so I won't be actually accessing my gmail account I'll just type let's say skyfall.abc at the rate gmail.com and I'll just go ahead and type tab and I'll go ahead and use my password any random password let's say uh, let's say I am root so I entered the email I entered the password and I hit enter and no and I actually used my fake one so uh, if I go ahead and dump the keystrokes I should get that perfect skyfall.abc.gmail.com then I press tab and I am root that is the password so in this way you can also go ahead and gather keystrokes of any person uh, that you want and if you want to go ahead and stop you can just type key scan underscore stop and it will stop the key sneaker sniffer will be stopped if you uh, and for example for if some for some reason you're not the system you're just a local administrator and you're not able to go ahead and bypass the UAC it's because sometimes the person's antivirus is far more powerful and it does not allow you to bypass that then you can still go ahead and view what the person is doing rather than ga gaining a remote desktop session you can just go ahead and type over here such as screenshot and uh, whatever uh, the person does yeah, it will be uh, share stored over here in the SET so as you can see this is the page of over here this is exactly the same if I go ahead and let's say for example I open uh, my task manager and if I go ahead and type the screenshot again another screenshot should be saved over here it's this one okay perfect as you can see the screenshot is saved let's just close this thing I'll delete this so in this way you can still go ahead and gain access to that and let's see if the person has webcams as of now I don't have it over here but if I had a webcam then I can go just go and type webcam underscore list it will show me all the webcams that they have and if I want to let's say if uh, the person has a webcam and I want to go ahead and take a snapshot of what the person is doing then I won't be able to run that because I don't have a webcam but still if you had then you can still go ahead and type webcam underscore uh, sorry uh, yeah a snap and it will take a picture of what uh, the person is doing if you want to go ahead and get a live session as to what exactly the person is seeing that means he won't be able to hear you out he or she they won't be able to hear you out but you can still see what the person is doing you can still hear what they are doing then you can type web webcam underscore stream and hyphen h 
and by doing this it will go ahead and take you to the specified webcam and hyphen h would be the number of webcam that you get over here when you type webcam underscore list it will be either one or two or whatever you get and if you want to go ahead and chat to the person directly then you can type webcam underscore chat and uh, a chat session will directly be started or if you just want to record the voice of the person you can still go ahead and type r e c o r d underscore m i c hyphen h h again would be the number of the mic that you have found and you can just go ahead and it will be saved over here again and everything will be done now this is far enough but uh, if you want to go ahead and uh, everything is done you just want to clear all your records then you need to go ahead and clear the event records so for that you need to go ahead and type c l e a r e v clear ev it will clear all the event records that means whatever you did from the starting that means gaining access to the system modifying or making any changes and then getting back so after this you need to go ahead and after you have cleared the event records go ahead and delete the uh, fake user that you have created and again go ahead and clear the event records so that there won't even be an event record that you deleted the event records previously and some one fine thing that I'd like to show you would be to go ahead and disable uh, the user interface of the person. It, this is just for fun if you want to do. It is like U I C T L. Not only for fun if you want to go ahead and just mess around with the person, you can just go ahead and type. And you can see that uh, you can go ahead and enable or disable the keyboard or mouse. So uh, I'll just go ahead and see. My mouse is working right now, and I have. I'll just go ahead and enable disable the mouse. And disabling mouse so if I go over here as you can see my mouse is not working doesn't matter what I click my mouse is not working I'll just go ahead and enable that and my mouse is enabled again perfect and uh, let's say for example if I'm writing something uh, not this one yes if I'm writing something like I can see I can write anything over here if I want I can still go ahead and uh, disable the keyboard as well so this is not just the keyboard any USB that is attached may it be a pen drive or anything else uh, the person will not be able to access that as well so I'll just go ahead and enable that once more perfect Okay, and that is it for this tutorial and I'd also like to go ahead and teach you one last thing before I go ahead and end uh, this tutorial that would be to go ahead and create a keylogger so I'll just go ahead and end this session right now uh, you can just go ahead and upload the keylogger by creating that and one last thing that I'd like to teach you would be if you want to go ahead and download something from over here let's say I'll go ahead and save this and I want to go ahead and copy some files from this PC to my own computer I can still do that let me check where I am exactly I'm still in the desktop so I can just go ahead and type download and um, what is the name of the file let me check it was ABC so I'll just type um, let me check I don't remember exactly as to how I did it previously so you can just go ahead and type download let's say C slash users slash slash I'll just go ahead and type and uh, copy it over here mm. and I want to copy the ABC period TXT okay uh, I think uh, I would be needing a single quote right now parse error let me check okay, okay I believe I yeah, sorry, I just uh, you did not complete the code. As you can see, I have download the file has been downloaded, and I have the file over here. Perfect. This is an awesome file. So, and this is an awesome tutorial as well. So, yeah, and I'll be closing this session, and I'll be deleting this both as well, and this, and this, and I'll be showing you as to how we can go ahead and finally, I'll teach you how we can go ahead and create. A Python script and uh, you need to go ahead and create this Python script over here in Windows go ahead and install the Python from over here Python Windows 7 and you can download it from over here the two point and I would recommend downloading a 2.7 version because I need you to download other files as well after you have downloaded the, the Python from over here the 2.7.9 version you need to also download the uh, PyHook and pi win32 and so you can just download this go and type you need to download all the modules pi hook 
and okay and you can download it from over here and the 5 win 32 I believe Yeah, 5 in 32 as well. So once you download all of these things, you can just go to Windows 7. I don't have the, I have not yet installed it in my Windows 7, but I have that installed over here in my Python. It is in built in uh, Kali Linux. As you can see, I'll just go down and run Python. And I have that in built over here. So, but you need to go and install over here since you would need to go ahead and create a keylogger for Windows. So you can just go ahead and open the notepad since I don't have the, uh, install i'll just open the notepad and this would be the source code for uh, creating a keylogger in python so you need to type bind key return and then you need to type uh, this your uh, instead of writing that just you can just type uh, from t kinter import asterisk root equals to tk and define read ignore print hello and you can also go ahead and ignore this root i'm just going there it this is just a friendly keylogger that in case if you even go ahead and uh, let's say you're unable to go ahead uh, uh, even if you go ahead and quit or uh, remove your uh, python not python exactly sorry uh, your payload then even this will go ahead and help you to create this and this is the basic uh, main part of that so this is how you can go ahead and create a keylogger by using these files and yes that is it for this tutorial in the next tutorial i'll be teaching you more about uh, the how we can go ahead and uh, also use Cal Linux to go ahead and inject our own payloads in, into into our Windows uh, updates as well as I'll also be teaching you how we can go ahead and create a Trojan horse uh, which I can go ahead and insert into an mp3 file or a PDF file and send it to our client and finally we would also be learning uh, Android hacking that is uh, going ahead and um, uh, let's say uh, getting into uh, anyone's Android system, even iOS, uh, our Lumia, that's our Microsoft phone as well. That is for it for this tutorial. I'll be uh, meeting you in the next tutorial, guys.